Warning, this video includes legal hemp slash cannabis use. If you are under the legal smoking age, please exit the video now. Any products featured in this video are legal thanks to the 2018 Hemp Farm Bill. I'm not affiliated with any of the companies that I review, just simply providing my personal and honest opinions. This video is for educational slash harm reduction purposes. I'm not glorifying the use of drugs or anything illegal. Viewer discretion is advised. What's going on guys, it's Colt from JTokes. Welcome to a brand new video. Today's gonna be a little bit different. I got some Skywalker OG Diamond Distillate from Dr. Ganja, and we're gonna be filling our own cards today. They've got the QR code there on the bottom for the test results. It's a really nice like golden amber color. It is a little bit sticky on the outside on the jar. I haven't opened this or anything. It just kind of came like that. And let me just say I'm not a professional at this at all. This is just my method that works for me. So I've got a 10 to $15 wax warmer. I think I got it from Walmart. Then I've got a hair straightener, two glass one gram syringes. Then you're gonna need your concentrate that you wanna put into your cartridges. And then you just need some empty cartridges to fill. And the cards that I'm gonna be using should be delivered here in just a few minutes. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and start heating up this distillate. You definitely can't just stick your syringe right into this without heating it up. It's not gonna budge at all. This is some super sticky stuff to work with, so you really gotta be careful. Whew, that was super gassy, man. I could not wait to try this. So I just popped the lid off, and I'm just gonna set it right on the wax warmer. Turn it on, and now I'm actually gonna time it and see how long it takes to get to the right consistency. But let's go ahead down to my mailbox and see if the cartridges are here. So I got the package here, let's go ahead and pop it open. Look at this little party pack, man. So we've got 10 carts here, fully ceramic 510 thread from Pocket, and I've got the Spark 2 cartridges. Look at these bad boys, these are fancy. So now we just have to wait until our distal is at like a water-like consistency, and then we'll start filling them up. So this is the consistency you're looking for. It took about an hour on the wax warmer. So this is the setup. These are all the mouthpieces. I have all the carts ready to go. Two glass syringes, the hair straightener with some paper towels. So I'm going to start by just heating the syringe up. Make sure you get the tip and the actual body of the syringe. Then you take your cartridge and you start heating the glass up. This will really help the oil slide down. I went ahead and heated the syringe one more time, and then it was time to draw out the distillate. Professional YouTuber here totally blocked the shot, but it was successful and now it's time to fill the cartridge. Then you just kind of want to rotate the cart as you press the syringe. And as you can see, I did not draw out enough distillate into the syringe. I was nervous, alright? It's been a while. But that's the first one down with many more to go. As you can see, the second one went a lot smoother and I got a lot more in there. And then I kind of got into a groove. So I kept my two empty puffy vapes. I actually had to use pliers to get the mouthpiece off, but I mean a two gram tank, I mean, I couldn't pass it up. And then I also filled two empty Delta 8 cartridges I had laying around. I got all 10 of the Spark cards loaded up here. And then I had two Delta 8 cartridges that were really low, so I just went ahead and topped them off with this THCA. And then I had two almost empty puffy vapes here, and I just popped the tops off and just loaded them up. And these actually hold two grams, which is just sick. So I haven't actually finished wicking all of these cards, and that's basically the process of getting the oil to really soak into the coil. 
But if I was to just like fill this cart and then just rip it right away, concentrate is not going to be soaked into that. So that's just going to sit there and just like burn itself. And then you'll really have like a burnt taste for the rest of your cartridge. So right when you see those air bubbles is the time to stop. So I've got this one here that I haven't done this to. I'm just going to put the hair straightener just right on that and then just kind of slowly turn it. Then you start to see the air bubbles form on the bottom there in front of the coils. So that's when you stop and you set your cartridge down for at least an hour. Maybe even give it longer just to be safe, and then you're good to go. It's actually been over an hour for the first one here. As you can see, I didn't get it filled all the way, but that's all right. It was my first one. I was a little rusty. Going to start off at 2.6 volts. Go ahead and get a taste of the Skywalker OG from Dr. Ganja. Cheers, guys. Ooh. Ooh. Man, even at 2.6, that was a that was a heavy cloud. Wow. This just tastes like a straight up gassy forest. That's so good. That flavor, dude. Wow. I mean, this is indistinguishable from a dispensary cart for sure. I love that gassy taste, man. very smooth I know I'm coughing a lot but I mean for some reason I'm just hitting clouds off this thing it's even at 2.6 I can imagine anything higher I already feel that head change I'm starting to relax a lot more definitely blasting off man the only gripe I have about these carts is that it really doesn't show off the color that well it really just makes it look black which is unfortunate because I really love like the golden beautiful color especially this one I mean look at that look at the difference here same distillate same everything it's just since it's black on the inside I mean just makes the whole distillate black but this man I mean you can see that really nice golden color there and same way in the uh, the puffy here I'm so excited man this was a this was a really good experience now of course there's a lot less steps with already terped distillate because if you have to add the terpenes yourself then I mean there's definitely gonna be a lot more to it but maybe that's a video for the future. Man, this is just like a gassy forest taste. So good, man. But yeah, the functionality and everything of these carts is like a 10 out of 10 for sure. I just kind of like to see the color of my distill instead of just like a black. Might just be me. really interested in their other flavors as you can see we actually did use most of the distillate here there's just a nice little like coating on the bottom still but I mean that's for dabbing we could make some edibles it's a really versatile product for sure I think I'm stoned boys god <laughs> but this is legal and tastes this good and packs a punch like this guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it helped you out a bit because i know when i was first learning about doing this i was so overwhelmed had no idea what i was doing the first time i did this it was just a sticky mess all over my kitchen but here i mean i feel like i kept it kind of concentrated just all on the uh the desk here i feel like i really got into a groove with it by the end i'm so high man this stuff is nice i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe i'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by my birthday of april 27th we're pushing 700 at the moment which is just insane i never thought i would get to this point but i appreciate every single one of you for sticking with me be sure to join up on my discord link will be down below thank you so much to dr ganja for making this video possible you've been a huge supporter of this channel and i really appreciate it hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one